Growing up in the 90s, I played a lot of racing games. Classics like Need for Speed 2, Colin McRae Rally and Sega Rally Championship. But also wacky titles like Death Rally, Mintown Madness 2 and Planet of Death. But my favorite was Gran Turismo. I still have my old PSX set up and ready to race, for when I get that specific Japanese 90s sports car itch. When it comes to Forza though, Horizon 5 is my first. I love it for what it is, a flawed racing sandbox where the sky isn't the limit because that's where the Hot Wheels Park is, and it's as a sandbox that the game truly shines. Building cars and racing them just for the fun of it is enjoyable, which is why I've been playing Horizon 5 pretty much non-stop since I bought it. And at this point, I feel like I've experienced most of the game. But one thing that the Forza sandbox experience lacks for me is purpose. How can we get more purpose in Forza Horizon 5? Well, things feel more purposeful and meaningful when you need to work towards them. So I would like to propose Forza Horizon 5 Career Mode, a set of rules to play by. First of all, and most importantly, ignore the wheel spins, accolades, barn finds, car skills... Horizon games, gives the player a ton of credits and cars. While this is fun in the sandbox sense, it completely nulls their value and meaning. In Career Mode, the player has to earn credits and cars. Speaking of credits, even when disregarding the gift showers, Forza gives out too high rewards for events. Most importantly, regardless of performance, finishing an event in first and last rewards almost the same amount of credits. In career mode, the player will manually keep track of their own credits. This means total freedom over income and expenses, and lets the player define the game economy. I'm thinking an initial budget of 25k. After that, the sole income will be from racing. The price money from a normal race will be 18k for winning, 12k for second, 8k for third, and 6, 4, and 2k for fourth, fifth, and sixth. No price money from finishing in the lower half. When it comes to expenses, in addition to the normal costs of new cars and parts, etc., players must also pay for full repaints or redesigns at 10k. This will add weight to the choice of livery or color. Damage repairs after each race at 200 for each paint rope. Expensive enough to discourage dirty racing, but just cheap enough that going for a higher position might be worth it. Crashes that would realistically total your car will be 10% of the base car value. For this to make sense, it will be important to pick the correct difficulty settings. Ideally, the player should generally finish in the top half only rarely winning races. It's important to be honest here, if the difficulty is set too low, then the point is lost. The final point will be to roleplay. Some of you might scoff at this, but hear me out. No restarts or rewinds. This will put more pressure on the races and will in turn make a good result feel more rewarding. No fast travel or car deliveries. This will bring back the purpose of the open world and offer some needed relaxing cruises between races. No community tunes or liveries and name your car by using the number plate. This will increase the player's perceived value of their car. And those are the rules. But then what? What to do with them? What are the goals? I will be racing in themed seasons where each season is a set of five random normal races and one big race finale. The themes are road circuits, road sprints, dirt trails and street sprints, with the big races being the Goliath, Colossus, Gauntlet and Marathon. Cross country will be left out simply because I don't enjoy it, and dirt scrambles because there is no obvious big matching race. Ultimately, the goal will be to end up with a garage of a few cars that I like and care about, that I can bring to rivals or opens and hopefully not completely suck. Of course, the point is also to have fun with it, to make some memories, maybe even bring back some of the nostalgia from playing Gran Turismo as a kid. I have created a brand new account for this career mode playthrough, and I'll be posting videos of it, but a fresh account is not strictly necessary. By ignoring your millions of credits and hundreds of cars, you could just as well play by these rules on your normal account. Or just some of the rules for that matter. The rules, and especially the goals, are not written in stone. 
Forza Horizon is a sandbox after all, and the beauty of sandboxes is that we can play in them however we want. If you want a career mode as a stunt driver or drift king or photographer or whatever, then feel free to use as much or little of these ideas as you want, and I'd love to hear about it. Like and sub, thanks. Bye!